Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support throughout the year. I love and appreciate you all. I've been getting inquiries again about personal readings. I don't offer them at this time just because my schedule is so busy, but if that ever changes, I will make an announcement on the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, you can come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Friday's readings are a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, career, travel, and everything else. Mondays are different every week, but I will give you a little bit of a teaser that in December, later this month on a Monday, I will do a year of predictions for 2023 for each sign. So you might want to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified so you don't miss that. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Aries. Messages for Aries, please. All right, we will uh, start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. You've got, oh dear Lord, the Ten of Swords, the King of Wands, we like that, the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Well, there's been an ending here, definitely, um, but I see you flourishing. I mean, especially with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, if it's a, it's, if it's a job that ended, I don't see you turning back, okay? There would be no need for it. Now, for some of you, it does indicate a breakup here. You do have you do have support for reconciliation for some of you, but you may have somebody who comes back around that has a lot more in common with you. Um, oddly enough, I don't usually use the shadow card, but you do have the tower on the bottom there, and it, it resonates with this because I feel like there's going to be new from the old. There's something important here, a big transition happening here. So... It appears that we have all the elements here and two kings and one major arcana with that high priestess energy. Well, nothing says it's over better than this. My God, this is one of the cards that uh, some readers don't like this deck. In fact, Radley Valentine created his own decks to avoid situations like this one, pictures depicting this bloody massacre. Um, but ultimately with this, it really is just saying, there's something that ended. And so with this 10 of swords, so 10s are actually a new cycle. So I feel like with this, it may have been a bit of a dramatic ending. If it was a job, I feel like you may have left with a bit of flair, you know, sort of a, whether it was a resignation letter that really got to the heart of things. I just get somebody delivering it with a bit of a sense of humor. Now, others of you, if it was a relationship, I still see reconciliation here for somebody. But I feel like it's that end of an old cycle, an old pattern with that person. That Whatever was going on there cannot be brought back into a new relationship. Love is energy. Love is just, it, it's never created or destroyed. As I always say, it's an alignment. And so somebody here got way the heck out of alignment in a relationship. And I do feel like there may have been a bit of those day-to-day -day irritations were being brought to into the relationship too much, and it was got really toxic with this. You know, the black in the cards, it's contrasted. It's those events that really let us know what we actually do want. And for somebody, I feel like the ending of that has that person really thinking about you quite a bit. Now, with this King of Wands, you're going to have charisma coming out of your ears, I feel like, with this. And I also even reconciliation people... I don't feel like it's a, there's no desperation here. I actually feel like it's them that is going to try to initiate it. Um, but with this, uh, with this king of, of wands, again, you may be having other prospects come in. In terms of career, you're definitely flourishing. You've got lots of nice cards here, but there's something about this combination that really, I feel like it's a return to trust. It's a return to really being in flow, that energy of success, of alignment, 
And some of you too, if it's the wands are upwardly mobile. So if it was a job you're, or even a house too, I still feel like you're moving on to something better. I mean, they keep just drilling on that. So don't be afraid. Let go to receive. It's one of the greatest paradoxes in our universe because when we hang on, that damn death grip that we can get into, it just squeezes the energy right out of out, out of the situation. So with this King of Wands, you're definitely going to be making heads turn and people are going to be noticing you. I feel a very jovial energy coming in around you. I also see somebody like on a, a loudspeaker. If you work at a job where you have to make announcements and things, I know that's very few of you here. Or I don't know if you like to you know, prank call people and have people, you know, paged in stores or something like that. Or maybe it's somebody coming towards you too that really has a mischievous sense of humor um, that maybe somebody knew that you're attracting. I do get it though. Like they've got a lot of confidence. I hear them saying they've got a lot of balls, male or female. It's like they just kind of, and they're good natured. Okay, this is not somebody trying to hurt anybody, but I do get kind of this like very ballsy sense of humor. I, it's really kind of funny. Um, I hope I get to meet whoever that is. So with the uh, High Priestess, now this is a very analytical energy, but ultimately it's about staying true to yourself. So reconciliation, folks, I feel like it's it's not about wavering. And, you know, I'm not saying you can't compromise some because that's important, but I just feel like it's about really preserving your own identity, your own values, your own morals, and what's really important to you. Okay, it's not letting go of your dreams to be in a relationship. And so with this, there's a bit of a passive energy, but it's ultimately, it's setting the stage, okay? This is an important card because this is what really primes the pump, prompt, how about pump, not prompt. Anyway, pardon me on that. Primes the pump to get things going, all right? There's meditation here, but there's this is the card of the psychic. So it's also telling you, trust your gut and things. So if you have somebody who wants to come back, I still feel like they're initiating it and you don't feel good about it, then there's gonna be somebody better. I get an energy though of somebody wanting reconciliation and kind of, like I said, sticking their guns a little bit more than, you know, if it was something important, I feel like you're not gonna give that up. Um, and that's okay, but with this, it is prima materia. Matter comes from the mind here. It's law of attraction energy. So be in this energy of flow too, because I feel like you have an easygoing centered nature. And this, of course, will start it all. It really is meditation, being spiritual, walking a labyrinth. I don't care where it is, if it's at the back of a, you know, wine place or a coffee place and they happen to have a, a labyrinth on the property. I see somebody walking it. So with this, um, and I don't know why alcohol needed to be involved in that, but for some reason it came in. So with this uh, King of, of Pentacles, you're definitely going to have promotion coming in here. So like we talked about, if it was a job that ended, you're ha you have a new beginning, but it's prominence with this. It's flourishing. And if you're going to start something new, I do feel like an, a side hustle could actually become your main hustle with this. But I feel like it it will feel risky at first. Like you'll start to see this picking up momentum and saying, God, is this more than I thought it would be? And start to question that a little bit. But again, go with it. Allow it to be so. I mean, there are people making money off of all kinds of interesting places nowadays. Now, if there's a move for somebody, like a physical move, and it was somewhat unintended like you know if it got into a situation where your rent was increased and you just was no longer smart to stay there but it was kind of a bittersweet ending I do feel like you're going to move on to something better but I keep hearing August for that okay so you may have somewhere in between if you say yeah I just had to move and I'm not happy about this I feel like you're going to have a new opportunity into 2023 but it feels like I said more like August something with moving in August so good luck remembering that but it just I say it has it, it comes in well, the Five of Pentacles has changed, okay? So I mentioned it may be a, a bit bittersweet, but I do feel like you're going to have the last laugh on this. Like you're going to have something better that comes in and you're not going to miss anything that you've changed from. So with this, though, you do have good support. So those of you too, if it was a job situation or a living situation, I feel like you have people around you who are going to tip you off. Hey, here's something, Aries. You're a great employee. You're industrious. You're creative. You're, you know, fierce in terms of you're a natural born competitor. 
So I do feel like even with this, it's like, hold your head high. Well, let's not be slumping over like these two. Um, you know, it's like walking past, walking forward. But this is also knock and the door will open, ask and it is given. When a door closes, we don't stand there banging on the door to demand that it opens. We keep walking because there are more doors. And so it's here for you to keep going forward. So this two of wands brings in the energy of a, like I said, a creator. This is setting your intentions, but then it's like it's taking a leap of faith for somebody. Twos are also about partnerships. So again, I get it both ways. For somebody, it's re reconciliation, but others of you, there may be a second chance, but I feel like you may move on to somebody new. Again, if that second chance doesn't appeal to you, I, I would say go with the Pope of Joan here, the high priestess. I wouldn't say bend and try to force that to work. It's like this, they're saying there's more for you. There's more. So go out there and grab it. But again, with this, there's going to be expansion and growth and partnerships. And somebody here, as we talked about, you're going to have growth in terms of career and money too. So with this four of swords, you've got two windows in the tarot, which is interesting, the inside and the outside uh, version. So the windows in the tarot are like the windows in your soul. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to do a bit of soul searching here and really say, what do I want out of my life? Especially as you go into that new year, I feel like 2023 could be one of your best years yet, but you, you're entering it in a centered state. This is a very centered state. Some of you, it does indicate a breakup with somebody and just sort of getting your bearings or an ending, that ending, this is what allows you to get back to center. So the six of cups comes in, one of the fairy tales cards of the deck. It's like that happily ever after. I see somebody at Walt Dis Disney World. If that's you, have a great time. Go on. It's a small world. It's one of the best rides ever. Um, but I do feel like with this, it's it's like I said earlier, it's a return to love, a return to trust. Now, some of you bringing in a new person, you're going to have a lot in common. And there's not going to be so much swimming against the current with this new person. It feels like it's a natural fit, especially if, like I said, the other person, there were just too many differences. I do feel like you're going to move forward and it's going to be a lot smoother. That's re uh, reciprocity. So that is not making it work. It's just being in flow. All right, let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Aries. What else does Aries need to know, please? Messages for Aries. Does Aries need to know, please? All right, we've got, if you believe, ask, believe, receive. You've got trust so that you and the universe, you're two co-creators. You work together, never alone. Ask your angels, they say. And we've got within the next few weeks, now I'd still say August on that other deal, but don't stop. You're on the right path, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.